What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So today, Alex is coming over and he has a surprise for me. We're doing the first modification to the STI. I have no idea what he's bringing over. The only hint that I got was that it's for the exterior of the car. So I was throwing out guesses. I was like mud flaps, uh, wind visors, front lip, side skirts, and he was just like, nope, nope, nope. So I have absolutely no idea what's coming. Um, so he should be here pretty soon, but first I kind of wanted to ask you guys a question. So I just recently added this to my insurance policy and I also have the S4 on there as well. So the S4 has a loan on it, the STI, I own it outright. So that shouldn't really matter too much, but both cars are on the exact same um, liability limits. They have the exact same deductible for collision and all that stuff. So they're starting on on level playing fields. The only difference is the STI is worth a little bit more on the private sale kind of market. And it is almost two times as much uh, um, with insurance. The Audi, I am paying roughly 600 every six months. And the STI is about 1,000 every six months. So I don't know whose great idea it was to make this a cheap car uh, for insurance and then this one expensive. My guess is it has something to do with the resale value as well as, as well as the cost of parts. I think that there's very limited parts for the STI just because it's a newer car by two years and the Audi, it shares the exact same body as the A4 and the S4. So it might be more parts available. Not sh totally sure, maybe someone can help me out there. Um, but yeah, just kind of crazy to think that this car is almost twice as much a month than the Audi. Weird. Finally showed up. I'm here. Oh, there it is. No, I'm here. No, it's in the, okay, so here's the box. Here's the box. Oh my God, what is no, it? No, no, what do you, what do you? I don't know what it is. Are you scared? Don't I'm like kind of nervous. Me. I'm, okay, so technically, <laughs> okay, you're technically. Getting, your camera is getting up close and personal right now. Okay, here you go. Wait, I'm like, just unbox it. Is it gonna like it. explode? No, no, just unbox it. Okay. All right. I need, need something to open it yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. Am I gonna cut it if I use a razor? <sighs> nah, nah, nah. It's no, no, no. No. It's so light. It's light. It's light. It's so taillight film. <laughs> I just realized. No. It has no, to be. No. No. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. You already like read where it's from, so it's. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, I man. promise. I don't even Fuck. know what it looks like. I mean, you don't even know what it looks like. I you ordered it. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> oh my god, it is still like Hell yeah. Hey, but your car's looks so much better. Premium auto styling. Hey, so I already told him that you guessed it. In red. You guessed it. That was like, what I was that was the first thing? guess. That was the first thing that you guessed. Because all, because all you say is, is you need taillight film. No, you yeah, need taillight yeah, yeah, film. Yeah, yeah. Your car is ugly. No, it's actually gonna be so much better. So I got, the, I got the one that's not all red. It has the one that's like has the reverse cutout, and then I added that on there. Hell yeah. So we're good to go. go. We are good to go. Thanks, dude. Excellent. So it is time, you can't even see, to install the taillight film. It's like huge cutout, but uh, we just have to trim it down, clean off these taillights first, and then we should be able to get, be good to go. So we got all the tools over here. I've got some very, very slightly soapy water. Literally, full bottle and then one drop of Dawn soap. We've got a razor blade, got a hair dryer ready to go. And basically, you want to lubricate the surface first, apply the vinyl, lubricate on top of the vinyl, and then you can squeegee, get those air bubbles out, fold it, and then you heat it to curve the edges, and then you cut it. So let's get started on the process. Quite a difference. It's like actually a like a huge difference. It's like STI it's like Impreza. Impreza. <laughs> Update for your boys. So I'm so close to being finished with one side, but it's like extremely ridiculous process. Like, like very it hard. takes so long. You have to do a lot of the hair dryer, really stretching the vinyl, 
to get around a lot of the curvatures on these taillights. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like it, but there's actually two like little indents and valleys like along here. I'll show them. There's like, show them. There's like one here, one ridge here, and oh, then it goes the down angle. and then it goes the up angle. again. Uh -huh. It's just really hard to, to manage this corner and get around it. But we were able to almost get one side done and it will be time to move on to the next. This looks way better, to be honest, way better. Dude, huge improvement. Huge improvement. <laughs> Oops. You gotta know how you feel. I don't know. So, it's probably like an hour of doing that side, but it's okay because we're gonna start on this side. This is the easier part. It's nice and flat, so there's no like curvatures that you really have to worry about. So, just gonna do this one. I'm basically making sure it's as even and uh, about the same as that side. And then we're gonna start on this side, knowing about those two valleys or that those two ridges right here, um, gonna be a little more attentive as we're coming towards that section to make sure that we're actually gonna be stretching the vinyl a lot more than we did on that side. Instead of trying to fix our mistakes, we're gonna try to prepare a little ahead of time for this one. So I'm hoping that this side comes out a little bit better. That side has a few little wrinkles in it when you get really close. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. They don't look like they're gonna lift, but Hoping this side is, is way better. So it's all done. After about two hours, we got it done. Just wanted to make sure we could do the best we could on both sides. I think it looks really good. There are some little creases here and there. It's all right. I'm not looking to be perfect. It is my daily driver. But now I started another process of taking off the Impreza badge here, and then I'm gonna remove the Subaru and the symmetrical all-wheel drive badge as well. Kind of clean up that rear end a little bit, and then Probably get some new license plates. Maybe get the legacy plates. Alex decided he is going to remove his STI badge in the back because he doesn't have an STI. That's so... He's also That's not on E85. I can't make it. So I'm missing something. Hold on. There's something missing. Hold on. Hold on. Found it. Oh, thank Found you. I don't, the the STI badge. I don't need that anymore. I don't need that anymore. Let's put that there. It's super depressing. Perfect. If you'd ask me how long I thought it would take to get this emblem off, I probably told you like 15 minutes. It's been so long that the power's gone out. <laughs> and my power Alex went is out. sleeping. My power went out. My power is out. My battery is down to zero. We're starving. We're starving. <sighs> Trying to finish this out and go get some food. So it is fully done. Looks so much better without the badges and the new taillight film. Thank you to Alex, appreciate it. So I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed the install for the taillight film. It was very difficult, but it was fun, and it's so worth it. Really stoked I did that, as well as debadging the car. So, if you guys like this video, please make sure you comment, subscribe, like down below, and I will see you all on the next one.